Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning. It is 1st of February. Hard to believe we're here already. Um, we're going to come together and read Proverbs chapter 23. Let's hear God's word. While dining with a ruler, pay attention to what is put before you. If you are a big eater, put a knife to your throat. Don't desire all the delicacies, for he might be trying to trick you. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. In the blink of an eye, wealth disappears. It will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle. Don't eat with people who are stingy. Don't desire their delicacies. They are always thinking about how much it costs. Eat and drink, they say, but they don't mean it. You will throw up what little you have eaten and your complaints. Compliments will be wasted. Don't waste your breath in fools, for they despise the wisest advice. Don't cheat your neighbour by moving the ancient boundary markers or take the land of defenceless orphans. For their redeemer is strong. He himself will bring their, their charges against you. Commit yourself to instruction. Listen carefully to the words of knowledge. Don't fail to discipline your children. Um, they won't die if you spank them. Physical discipline may well save them from death. My child, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right. Don't envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord. You will be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed. My child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Don't carouse with drunkards or feast with gluttons, for they are on their way to poverty, and too much sleep clothes them in rags. Listen to your father who gives you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Get the truth and never sell it. Also get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. The father of godly children has cause for joy. What a pleasure to have children who are wise. So give your father and mother joy. May she who bring who gave you birth be happy. O oh my son, give me your heart. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. A prostitute is a dangerous trap. A promiscuous woman is as dangerous as falling into a narrow well. She hides and waits like a robber, eager to make more men unfaithful. Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? It is the one who spends long hours in the taverns, trying out new drinks. Don't gaze at the wine, seeing how red it is, how it sparkles in the cup, how smoothly it goes down. For in the end, it but bites like a poisonous snake. It stings like a viper. You will see hallucinations. You will say crazy things. You will stagger like a sailor tossed at sea, clinging to a swaying mast. And you will say, they hit me, but I didn't feel it. I didn't even know when they beat me up, when I wake up, so I can look for another drink. Amen. And the, up, the end of Proverbs chapter 23. The verse I want to take us to this morning is verses um, 10 and 11. It says there, don't cheat your neighbour by moving the ancient boundary markers. Don't take the land of defenceless orphans, for their redeemer is strong. He himself will bring their charges against you. In Israelite law, you could sell land. Um, it had to be handed back again in every seven years. But in the meantime, somebody could redeem the land. That was pay the price for what it was worth to hand it back. And this, these verses here talk about don't cheat. Um, your neighbour, don't steal from your neighbour uh, because their Redeemer will, then will come and looking for you. And the word Redeemer is in capitals. It points towards Christ. It points towards what God is going to do for us. Um, God's law is all about looking after the defences, the weak, the poor. Whenever you read uh, the, the law of Moses in the Old Testament, it's all about how we should look out for others, how should we take care of others. It's that practical or social witness. Um, but all of that points towards eventually what God is going to do for us through Jesus. How we are the weak and helpless, how we are the ones who can't do anything for ourselves and how God is going to save us or redeem us or buy us back through the death of Jesus on the cross. 
So even in Solomon's wisdom, you have this going on. You have the teaching of what's going to come, um, of looking forward to Jesus. So Solomon says, don't get caught up in all this world. Don't get caught up in its wealth and its feasting and its drinking. Think about what else there is going on. Think about what God is going to do for you. And be wise in what you do. You know, there's nothing wrong with having money. Solomon had money. There's nothing wrong with having earthly wisdom. Solomon had that as well. But it's getting everything in perspective. It's not that wealth is a be-all and end-all. It's not that wisdom is a be-all and end-all. It's about that personal relationship. It's about who is our Redeemer. So as we start this Monday, I was lovely to see the names coming up on screen and, and the little comments and good morning to you all. But as, as we start this Monday, let us think about what it truly means to, to follow God, to know him as our Redeemer and to put our trust in him, not in things that disappear, not in, in money and food and, and things like that and wealth. You know, they, 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 they go and they get wasted, they get stolen and they run away. But the thing that lasts forever is our Redeemer and his love for us. So as we start a new month, let us start in the right way, thinking about what God has done for us and how he is always with us. So let's pray together. Father, thank you for this Monday morning. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you that we can call you our Redeemer through what Jesus has done for us on the cross. Help us to keep that firmly focused in our minds as we go about our day-to-day -day lives. And may that be the thing that spurs us on and that we can share with others that you are truly a loving, caring God. Thank you, Father, now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching this morning, folks. Great to see you all. Um, I trust now that this month, now we're into February, that maybe things start to get a bit easier for us all um, with the lockdown restrictions and with our health. <clears throat> In the meantime, please remember to keep on looking after yourselves and stay safe. See you again tomorrow morning if you're available. Take care. God bless. Bye.